this sign here that says 2010 basically means that the glacier was covering all of the surface here up until this mark and it all melted because of high temperatures it's crazy We're trekking pals Habiba and Alex, and for the last few weeks we have been calling Alaska home, working from our little tiny Airbnb during the week and hitting the hiking trails during the weekends, exploring the last frontier, challenging ourselves, learning, and appreciating the opportunity to escape the heat of the desert. very excited for today this is uh, supposed to be one of the best national parks in the country I was clearly very excited to be in Kenai Fjords National Park and excited for the opportunity to see a glacier up close and have this unique intimate experience with exit glacier to be specific but today was one of those days where we went out for an adventure, but instead we came back with a lesson. We came back with a story and with a screaming reality that's going to change us forever. We are right about to walk to the visitor center here uh, just to inquire about the weather, what to expect on the trail and then today we're going to do the exit glacier. They are talking about uh, awareness in uh, bear country, not approaching bears, uh, a description of what a defensive black bear could do, especially a mama bear with her cubs and so on. And then there are some information about the exit glacier, which is a one mile hike to this beautiful uh, viewpoint here. And then there is the main HIT trail that I was talking about that goes all the way up. It's a steep 3000 feet elevation gain from what I read. Exit Glacier is a glacier derived from the hardened ice field in the Kenai Mountains of Alaska and one of the major attractions of the park. But the interesting thing about this glacier or this short hike to the face of the glacier is that it's a true visible indicator of glacial recession due to climate change. 195 years of documented accelerating pullback because of climate change, because of rising temperatures, and every year is clearly worse than its predecessor. Unbelievable. Service that the glacier was covering back then. So as we were driving to the park, on the road, at the trailhead, and on the trail itself, and all the way up to the rocky surface next to the glaciers, we noticed signs, 1961, 1951, 1926, 1917, and even more, to realize that these are years and these signs are marking the impact of climate change on this glacier and it's showing how it looked like in every single year. Screaming reality in front of you of how much the glacier is receding, how much it has retreated the last dozen years and how things that usually take 100 years to happen are actually happening right now in months, if not days. Comparing the change between right now, 2020, and 10 years ago is very shocking. And to know for fact that we as humans are contributing to this change is really heartbreaking. 
we even met a couple on the trail and they were so shocked and so surprised at how the glacier looks currently compared to when they first visited the glacier about 20 years ago. On the way back, we even saw a pavilion along the path. And little did we know, this pavilion was once a place to view the glacier. And now, it's all surrounded by trees, elders, just like it was never there before. This episode in particular is really a call to action, to think about what's happening around us, and to choose one small thing from our lifestyle or daily habits and change it, and change it in a way that it can contribute to making a difference. It can be as small as using a reusable water bottle, a reusable straw, grocery bags, recycling in general, or any small acts that can really make a difference and help us to be and stay on the right path to preserve our natural resources for our future and the future of the next generations. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you found today's episode to be both informative and eye-opening. You're trekking paths Habiba and Alex, and we'll see you soon on a new adventure.